Hey guys, welcome back to Cinema Beacon. Today, I will be explaining a 2019 thriller, drama movie called, Obsession. This video contains spoilers, so watch out and take care. At the start of the movie, a woman named Larissa walks from her farm to the house, a man named Sonny follows her. As she is about to enter the house, Sonny grabs her and looks angrily at her. He then tells her that he saw her with George, but Larissa retaliates by saying that George is in fact her husband. He replies, not for long, Sonny tells her that they are gonna get rid of him, and the scene then cuts to black, and the story begins from the very start. Sonny is traveling in a bus to get to the Louisiana area to find a job. He is new to the place and does not have a place to stay. He gets off the bus and heads up out for a job interview at a car workshop. He reaches there and tells the owner that he is looking for a job, but the owner says that he does not want any new employees, as all the spots are already filled. He leaves the workshop disappointed and walks through the city. He can't afford to stay in any hotel, as he does not have any money. So he rests on a bench in the alley and tries to take a nap. We then see an old man getting in his car, when a man yielding a knife, tries to attack him. The old man is stunned and asks the thug not to hurt him. But the thug tries to hurt him, and wounds him with his knife. Sonny sees this and intervenes, he pushes the thug back and hits him with his backpack. The thug fights back, and soon realizes that Sonny is too strong for him and runs away. The old man thanks Sonny for saving him. Sonny notices that the old man is bleeding from several spots, and calls the ambulance, so that the old man can receive help. While the old man is being stitched up, he introduces himself as George. We then see Larissa, who is George's wife running towards him. She hugs him and checks on him. As Sonny decides to leave, George stops him, and introduces to Larissa, saying that Sonny is the one who saved him from the thug. Larissa thanks him for saving her husband's life, and leaves to finish the paperworks. George then asks Sonny about him, and Sonny explains his current situation to him. Hearing this, George invites Sonny to his house, saying that it's the least he could do. During the dinner, George strikes up a conversation about Sonny's professional life, and gets to know that he is a skilled mechanic. Since George's farm mechanic quit some time back, George immediately offers Sonny a job, as his farm technician. Meanwhile, Sonny is making eyes at Larissa, and admiring her beauty without George noticing. After the dinner, Sonny goes inside his cottage across the main house, and hears George and Larissa talking from their room. Larissa is concerned about George letting a homeless stranger live in the house. But George reminds her that, once George and Larissa themselves were poor as well. He tells her that he just want to give Sonny a chance, and Larissa agrees and they go to bed. The next day, George introduces Sonny to the garage and explains about the work that he needs to do daily. As days pass, Sonny and Larissa catch themselves looking at each other. One day, while Sonny was working, he sees Larissa getting out of the car. He watches her and enjoys the view. Another day, while Larissa is watering the flowers on her front porch, as Sonny washes himself with a hose, he sees Larissa looking at him. The next day, Larissa is sitting on a swing in her porch and pretending to read a book, while she is sneakily giving naughty looks to Sonny. Sonny sees this and understands the tension between them, and a silent connection is forming between the two of them. One night, while Sonny is looking out of his window, he sees Larissa standing near the window and looking sadly at the sky. She then looks at George, who is sleeping peacefully. It becomes clear that George is not giving her the attention that she needs. The next day, Larissa walks up to Sonny while he is working in the garage, and asks him to stop looking her at the way he does. Sonny shuts her by telling that, if she knows he's looking at her, that also means that she was also looking at him. That night, all three of them are having dinner together. After the dinner while Larissa is doing dishes in the kitchen, George asks Sonny to join him for a drink. George takes a bottle of whiskey, and asks Sonny to fetch some glasses with ice from the kitchen. He goes to the kitchen and makes a move on Larissa. He stands behind, and touches her. Larissa could not do anything, and she seems to be enjoying this as well. But George yells from the living room, and asks Sonny what's taking him so long. Sonny comes back to his senses and goes back to the living room with ice cubes. Sonny wants to spend some time alone with Larissa, so he creates a perfect plan for this. George has kept a fancy red car in his garage, that he wants to gift Larissa, but it doesn't have a working carburetor. Sonny tracks down a car part supplier a few hours drive away, and rushes George to hurry up to go get it, 
before it gets sold out. George gets excited hearing this and instantly leaves. After some time, Larissa walks into the garage and inquires about George. Sonny tells her that he'll be gone at least for four hours. As Larissa starts walking out of the garage, Sonny grabs her from behind with his hands coated in grease and gets it all over her arms. For a moment, she gets annoyed, and tells her that he has made her dirty, but instantly gives up and passionately makes out and they make love. After they are finished, Larissa goes inside to take a shower. As George comes home, she looks him through the window. George asks her to come down, and is really excited to show her the working car and Larissa goes to the garage. Sonny starts the car, and asks George to take it out for a ride. While George is gone, Sonny tells Larissa that they need to be careful, and never let George know what happened between them. Larissa tells him that she has never cheated on George, and it took her an hour to clean the grease from her body. Sonny laughingly replies that, she should call him next time, when she wants help. But Larissa assures him that there won't be a next time and it was just a one-time thing. She also tells him to forget what has happened between them. George returns after taking the car for a ride, and gifts the car to Larissa and kisses her. One night, after having dinner, the three of them sit on the living room, and are having drinks. George is clearly drunk, and Sonny tells him the story about a man, whose wife is sleeping with another man. He tells this joke as a hint to Larissa, who is sitting next to George. Larissa gets irritated at this, and tells George that she's going to bed. George drinks more, and falls asleep on the couch. Sonny uses this opportunity and goes upstairs. Sonny walks slowly, as he has not been in this part of the house and looks for Larissa. Soon, Larissa appears out of nowhere and pushes Sonny against the wall and starts to make out with him. The two then shifts their actions to Larissa's Marshall bed, while the poor George is completely passed out in the living room, and has no idea about what is happening upstairs. After the session, Larissa and Sonny lay next to each other, and starts opening up to each other which marks the beginning to their secret relationship. The next day, George takes Sonny out to a location, and tells Sonny that, he is going to transform that place into a motorsports park. Sonny is surprised and shares the news with Larissa, and takes her to the place. Larissa tells him that this could be all they ever wanted and says that she needs to be with him. She convinces him that, for this to happen George has to be out of the equation, so Larissa can inherit his wealth and both of them could live there happily as a couple. She also asks him to make a plan to get rid of George. Sonny also wants to be with Larissa, so he decides to kill George, and they plan to make it look like an accident, so that no one suspects them. They plan to get George underneath the heavy tractor part to fix it and while he is fixing, Larissa will pull a chain and the hanging car engine will fall on George and crush him to death. The police will blame the faulty chain for this, and they will not be suspected of the murder. However, when the moment comes, Larissa pulls the chain and the car part falls and instantly kills George. But at the same time, it also crushes Sonny's hand as he was nearby, making sure that George stays at the right spot. Sonny gets worried, because now his blood will be on the crime scene as well. He tells Larissa not to worry of him. The police arrives, and Larissa puts a good show in front of them, mourning over her husband's death. But the police sense something wrong here. They immediately puts the pieces together and suspects both of them for killing George. The police then starts to question them, but they didn't give anything away. We then see Sonny and Larissa at the motorsports park, which they built by inheriting George's money. The police finally finds out that they are involved in the murder, and the both of them gets to know it. The next day, Larissa then tells Sonny that she is pregnant with his baby, and they shouldn't have killed George. Sonny doesn't want the police to find out that Larissa is involved in the murder, so he writes a confession letter to the police, saying that he alone committed the murder, and sacrifices himself for Larissa and the baby. He is then taken to the prison for his sentence. From there, he communicates to Larissa through letters. He asks Larissa about the baby, and gets to know that she gave birth to a baby boy. She even sends pictures of the boy to Sonny. Sonny is glad that their boy is doing well and asks her to send more pictures of the boy. We then see the developed motorsports park, where Larissa is herself in her office having gone on to run the motor park. In a twist, Larissa turned heel by embracing her lover, the same thug that we saw earlier in the film, revealing that Larissa had sent him to kill George in the attempted robbery. But when that failed, the evil Larissa seduced and manipulated Sonny into killing George and later lied about being pregnant 
to play on Sonny's emotions, and get him to take the fall for the murder. She also had been sending photos of young black boys to Sonny as part of the illusion. The movie ends with Larissa surveying her ill-gotten gains, while successfully avoiding punishment for her murderous scheme.